How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, let me refresh y'all. Back sometime in April, our royal son, Brandon Walker, was shot at by, what's his name? Jeffrey Ziegler. And he attempted to kill our royal son. And, um, well, today was real sweet. Oh, today was very, very sweet, my royal family. So, um, I got three videos to play for the royal family. But I'm going to refresh the royal family's memory by playing this first video. Let's take it back a notch. And make sure. Okay, the volume is up. And, uh, basically, um, you know, that he was lost. He was new to the neighborhood, and he was just simply trying to get to school, and damn near got killed. Honor in police custody tonight, and it all started with a teenager asking for directions. The 14-year-old was on his way to school when he says that homeowner opened fire and shot at him. The Rochester High School freshman missed the bus this morning, so he started the long walk to school. When he got lost, he stopped at a home to get directions. Coco McAvoy is live in Rochester Hills tonight. Coco, just really a lot to sort out here. A lot to sort out, Kimberly and Jason. This is a really disturbing story that makes you scratch your head and wonder how any of this happened. But the sheriff from Oakland County is calling this a case of divine intervention. And after you see this story, you're going to understand why. Lisa Wright and her 14-year-old son, Brennan Walker, recall the troubling scenario that unfolded this morning. It was shocking. Shocking, to say the least. It started like this. Uh, my alarm didn't go off, so that's why I woke up late and I missed the bus. He decided to walk to Rochester High School instead. But I kind of got lost. Brennan knocked on a door on South Christian Hills Drive to ask for directions. Yeah, I knocked on the door, and I stepped back, and then I knocked again, and I stepped back. And then the lady came downstairs. The messenger started yelling at me. The woman automatically assumed Brennan was up to no good. She thought I was trying to break in. She asked me, why are you trying to break into my house? Then a man came downstairs with a gun, and Brennan started running. I turned back, and I saw him aiming at me. Officers yeah. say the safety was on, was but then the man forward. took aim a second time. I was running away faster. I was trying to run away faster, and I had a gunshot. Sheriff Michael Bouchard believes there's no way to justify what happened. That's just completely unacceptable on every level. So I don't know how you would justify it, but it certainly doesn't pass the muster. Wright wants the man to face serious charges after attempting to take her son's life this morning. I want to see uh, it pushed to the fullest extent. You know, it definitely was a hate crime. And the sheriff said the man had a shotgun, and what really saved Brennan's life is the fact that that safety was on the first time because Brennan was able to get enough distance before that second shot was fired. Back to you. My goodness. Well, Coco, were there any other people who witnessed this other than Brennan, of course, and the homeowners? And that's the really interesting thing about this. So the sheriff's department, they were also saying that there was a person out inside of the house who was filming all of this with her video camera. And so for that reason, police were able to see more of what happened and the investigation that followed. Yeah. All right, Coco. And a Rochester Hills homeowner in police custody tonight. And it all started oh, with a teenager wow. asking for direction. Okay, so... Um... We're going to get into these next two videos. And um, it's even refreshing my memory, too, as well. Um, I forgot that someone else filmed it. We will actually see what, um, what actually happened. But um, let's play this video next. Is chilling. It's key evidence behind criminal charges against a retired firefighter after he fired his shotgun at a 14 year old. Overnight, we spoke with the teenager and his mother. The shocking moments caught on home security camera shown to a Michigan jury. 14 year old Brennan Walker knocking on Jeffrey Ziegler's front door to ask for directions. He'd gotten lost while walking to school after he'd missed the bus. He looked angry and he looked like he was going to kill me. But instead of directions, the unarmed high school freshman says he got the scare of his life. Ziegler, a 52-year-old retired firefighter, 
greeted Walker with a shotgun, firing once as the teen ran away. I thought I might have gotten shot, and I thought maybe I didn't feel it because there was like a lot of adrenaline pumping through me. Walker's mother says she's only watched the surveillance video once, right after the incident took place last April. I don't watch it when they view it in court. I either look at the wall or I look away. I can't, I can only watch my son almost be murdered once. There's a lot more to the story than what's being told. Ziegler, who's charged with assault with intent to murder, told investigators he thought he was being robbed, saying he tripped, which caused his shotgun to accidentally fire. Authorities say the video proves he clearly aimed the weapon. That's just completely unacceptable on every level. So. I don't know how you would justify it, but it certainly doesn't pass the muster. With Ziegler's trial expected to wrap today, Walker's mother hopes justice will prevail. On the outside, we, you know, we might seem like we're okay, and we try to be, you know, as normal as possible, but on the inside, you know, everything has changed. I just hope something happens to where I'm safe, you know, in the neighborhood that I live in. Uh, Ziegler's attorney has claimed race was not a factor in the shooting, saying his client and his wife were on high alert after five previous break-ins at their home. It's hard to argue with video that yeah. shows what was happening, but I guess we'll you see what You don't want to see the trip there. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see a trip. But. Yeah. How about that 14-year-old just saying, I just want to be yeah. safe. Yeah, yeah. my, my own, own neighborhood. neighborhood. All right, Steph, thank you. So, let's go back here before I play the next video. So, um... I can see that there is a bit of a change in his demeanor. A royal son seems like a very nice young man, but it is still our duty and responsibility um, to truly let our royals know how real and raw it is here and how much we are hated. We are truly hated. Now, when um, this all went down on my um, true royal um channel and i will dig it up if i can remember to play to play the whole link for you, to play that whole video for y'all i play when when they first when they do the arraignment and all of that and this this dude has a criminal record on top of that he shot at somebody before see he got some other shit going on and they wasn't playing with him he was talking about it was a different, you know, the, the, um, the video um, ain't what you think it is. Shit, it's your shit. Ain't nobody tampered with your shit. They always say that when Big Brother is watching you. He's an alcoholic. He had a lot of guns. And the judge wasn't playing. 50,000 cash. No 10%. They wanted 50,000 cash. He could not stay in his home. Um... The sheriff went to the house, took all the guns. I said, ooh, they're getting ready to come down on his ass. And on a side note, um, Brandon Walker's father had just been deployed to Damascus when all of this went down, when all of this went down. Now, my royal family, lately we have been seeing more of the enemy getting guilty and like Mr. Superboy always say, that perk walk, don't that look sweet? Don't that look real sweet? I like that. That look real sweet. Um, and we're going to continue to see more of this because of the precision of the 6,000 years. There is nothing that the enemy can do to stop the divine hand. Nothing. We will see more and more of this. But don't lose sight that they still feel the same way so we may be thinking oh they are changing no this is the divine hand at work because our punishment is over with so we're going to see a lot of change a lot of change and just letting y'all know that um today on my Kimberly Santana channel and I'll give an announcement on the main channel that we're going to talk about how the divine hand is at work so anyway let's go on to the next video so we can hear um, Jeffrey Ziegler and his wife lie on the stand 
you try to kill Brennan that day? No, sir. Jeffrey Ziegler takes the stand in his own defense, accused of shooting at a teenage boy who knocked on the door of his Rochester Hills home looking for directions. I was screaming as loud as I possibly could, saying somebody is breaking into my house. Last April, Dana Ziegler woke up her sleeping husband when 14-year-old Brennan Walker appeared at their door. The Rochester High School freshman missed the bus and got lost on his walk to school. I saw a black person standing at my door. And I screamed at him and I asked him what he was doing there. He tells me that he is going to school and at that point he approaches the door, forward momentum, comes forward, opens the screen door and puts his hand on the door handle again. As though he's coming into my house. She thought the person on her porch was trying to break in. Number one, he didn't look like a child. He was a brother big man standing there and also if he was going to school we have no schools in our area as Jeffrey came downstairs to see what was going on Dana frantically called 911 she appears distraught as the call was played in court <laughs> In court, Jeffrey is seen comforting his wife as she leaves the stand and appears to say, I love you. Moments later, he's seen wiping tears from his eyes. Jeffrey Ziegler is charged with assault with intent to murder for firing his shotgun as Walker ran away from the house. He claims the gunfire was meant to be a warning shot, but his foot slipped on the pavement. I wanted to fire more up in the air, more towards my shoulder and I didn't get that chance to, like I said, because it was slippery and, and I didn't have a good grip on the gun. And Ziegler claimed he had no idea the person on his porch was a teenage boy until he saw the surveillance video. I felt extremely remorseful and I was, I was just shocked. You understand you did something wrong? Yeah, absolutely. I'd give him a ride to school. The Zieglers also told police their house had been broken into three times between 2009 and 2010, but a detective testified that the thief was a person known to the family, a person who was arrested. Final arguments in the case are set for tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ain't that something? Now, their house been broken in uh, a number of times. And it was one of their own family members. You see how deceitful the enemy is? Now, y'all know what I've been saying, my royal family, the video that I put up on Black Junction about the messages that the creator gave me about the white woman. And you see that she is doubling down. A black person, a big man. Your wife got you locked up. You see how Becky gets down? But it's in her nature. She cannot help herself. I didn't see your ass slipping. Talking about you, you know, you're going to do a warning shot up in the air. No, you, your intent, your intentions was to kill our royal son. That was your intentions. Now, my royal family, I got two dates, November 13th and November 18th, as they say, the, the day that they're going to sentence him. And, um... Um, there's a channel that, um, I'm going to put in two links. There's a channel that I watched, Justice Something, where they show just court cases. And you can see where, you know, they tried, his lawyer tried to speak in his behalf to get him to be able to stay home until the sentencing. Mm -mm. Revoked everything. Clink, clink, clink. Perk walk. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So, um, I love uh, giving stories like this to the royal family because we deal with so much injustice. But I'm going to always keep it real and raw so we don't lose sight. We don't lose sight. We got to keep reminding each other of that because there is so much injustice that they can't even begin, begin to balance the scales out. But the thing that's getting me about all of these things that I'm seeing, 
since the 6,000 years is up is based on what the enemy has done to us they it's like it's like this it's something in them where they can't stop so they're turning on their sails they, they always try to find a way to blame us well we're getting locked up and where this is happening and we're losing our jobs and all this no you're doing it to yourself like I said this summer been eye-opening all these phone calls and what did I say my royal family now I mentioned earlier on another video that I think it was somewhere in New York one of them Becky's call um, the police saying that a nine-year-old was trying to fill up on her flat ass they will never ever get on cold when it comes to this it is in their nature to call whatever they're going to call for reinforcement. And we need to allow our nature to kick in to continue to film the enemy showing their core behavior. Continue my royal family again and again. I can't say it enough to teach our royals. Don't walk up on nobody's house. You know. Because it could be the end of you. And they don't care how good and decent our royals is. We got to remember they don't think like us. We are royalty. They peasants. So don't be inclusive with peasants. So my royal son Brandon and um, Miss Walker, I'm glad that you have received justice. And um, I thank his mother for not forgiving him. Stay on cold. How would you forgive someone that's going to kill one of your loved ones? What is there to forgive? See, when we do that, we're releasing energy. No, no, no. You want them to waddle in their misery. And that's not our responsibility. So be steadfast. So anyway, my royal family, render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.